Bout six is the last of our big class professional bouts, and this is in the light heavyweight category. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome in the blue corner, weighing in at 89.3 kilograms. He has a fight record of one win and one loss. He trains out of the UFR fight team in Belfast, Ireland. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Seamus Lee. Okay, on with uh, fight six, uh, Seamus Lee again from Ireland. Again, he, uh, another new fight, he's only been fighting seven months. Uh, one fight, uh, one win. Um, and he's a big lad, the 90 kilo fires. We should be able to see some uh, heavy leather being thrown. Seamus looks confident. And his opponent in the red corner, weighing in at 89.2 kilograms. He has a fight record of one win and no losses. He trains out of the SDCS in Exeter, but is from Darlington. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Matt Howard. Matt Howard making his way to the cave. Matt from Darlington, as he and Freeman from a boxing background, he's a big guy. When you've got a stand-up fighter, you definitely know you're going to see some heavy shots. My message to his opponent was, uh, don't hit me in the face. <laughs> if only that was the case. <laughs> I think both fighters here carrying a little bit of uh, extra condition. Um, we are only at B-class level, so it's on the day weighing. Sometimes it's quite hard to get down to a low weight, but I can see that both these fighters Find a middleweight perhaps in the future. Matt looks very game, very game. It's, it's hard, it's hard. You can't train full time when you're just, just starting out. You have to work nine to five. It's, it's hard to get in the kind of condition that the elite get into. And if we're going to see some uh, bomb zone here, uh, Matt looks uh, very focused indeed. Light on his toes. I think he's looking forward just to engage and start throwing some shots. Round one. Matt's got a very Typical boxer stance. So we're changing shots here. We we'll see uh, Seamus go for a takedown there, but to be honest, it wasn't very, uh, very well done. He was a little bit slow off the mark, and uh, Matt found it fairly easy to sprawl and defend that. Matt there with a semi wizard position over uh, Seamus's left arm. If he can use that properly, it's a good, strong position from standing. Seamus trying to close the distance here, stay away from Matt's strikes. Matt's got a single leg and it's a great takedown. Okay, and Seamus doing his best to get back up. Uh, but unfortunately, Matt's in, uh, in virtually side control. There is a knee in the way, so Seamus has managed to use that and get to half guard. Personally, I think half guard's a dangerous position. It's a great position when you're on top and throwing strikes. Yeah, you're very vulnerable on the bottom though. You're going to receive quite a few strikes. Okay, I think Matt's controlling the arm and he's managed to pass nicely into Mount. Yeah, it was a very nice position. He's down I've down seen this before. Uh, some great strikes. Got to watch them strikes land in the back of the head. Oh, what a strike. That's definitely a knockout there. That is a clean. This isn't sure where he is. Yeah, he looks as though he's definitely dazed here. Really? And Mark showing some real professionalism here. Keep Seamus on his back. We'll probably see the medics get in and make sure that uh, uh, he's okay before uh, anything else happens. So his corner really here should, should move back a bit and let the medics get in and do their job. That's what they're here for. Definitely. Fighter safety is paramount. That was just a tremendous shot from Matt. You could see straight away that, you know, Matt throws some heavy hands. Uh, it's a difficult position when uh, Seamus is in turtle position. You know, Matt's throwing some big hooks, hitting on the side of the head. You can't see where they're coming. Inevitably, it's going to end up in uh, a knockout or you're definitely going to feel those shots. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I didn't think I didn't think for one second we were going to see a rear naked shot then. We just knew we were going to see level, level, level. Definitely. I mean, he actually gave up the... Uh, uh, the back mounted position to uh, get some bigger strikes in and get a, a little, uh, get a knockout win, which you know that's what he's got. So you know, all power to him. Matt's done a, a blinding job there. Great fire. You can see his boxing background. He's really got some heavy hands. Seamus is on his feet now. The medics just attending to him. He looks to be okay. He's going to be a bit shaken. He's going to have an headache in the morning, but he looks to be fine. 
having been knocked out in a couple of fights in the past you probably won't even know about it until later on anyway so <laughs> and then the beer numbs the pain anyway okay fight us to the middle so we'll hand over to ian freeman to uh, give us the official results ladies and gentlemen after one minute 15 seconds of the first round we have a winner by the way of Everyone's quite excited about it for you. Yeah, I have a lot of people come here. Uh, I, I, I came up actually a couple of days ago, no one was meant to be coming. And then a few phone calls, when everyone found out I was fighting, so a lot of people come. I'm pleased. Better one is a good crowd. And then, talk me through the fight. Uh, we're being tall, and I seen him warm up a little bit, and he was using his hands, so I thought obviously stand up. I'm stand up anyway, I'm a boxer. Uh, so, but I've been working on a lot of ground, a lot of ground and pound. So, we had a couple of meetings, didn't really catch each other, and he wanted it, I could see in his face he wanted it stood up. But then we had another meeting, I caught him on a real stiff jab, and then I seen his face change, I knew he was going to shoot. So, when he shot, obviously I defended it, uh, shot it, and then he stood up, I shot him himself, took him down with a single leg, uh, he turned his back. I don't know, most ground fighters will go for a choke, but. I'm a puncher, so... Comes from boxing background? I come from boxing background, yeah. Is that useful? It's, well, for the start of it, it's the most useful thing in the world because obviously it starts on your feet. So when it's starting on your legs, you stood up, you know, your hands will go to work. It'll be, obviously, for him to beat me, unless he's a better boxer, he's got to get past my hands and get me down. It wouldn't happen. Well done. Thank you very much, mate.